What is going on? Welcome back to the Crypto Labs YouTube channel. Now, last week I almost got fired as being a YouTuber because I forgot to say, make sure you like and subscribe. So before we get into the content of this video, just make sure you do both those things and let's rock and roll. Today, I want to talk about portfolio allocation, risk management. It's something that's not the sexiest of topics, but it's extremely important, especially as we're developing a well-rounded crypto portfolio, a business, a system. Okay, so inside of our the UIG, I wanted to point out a few resources and direct you to where you can access what I'm going to be talking about today. So the majority of this is going to be inside the DeFi framework section. And these are frameworks and criteria that we have established over the last couple of years through our testing and through our, you know, just application inside of DeFi and developing assessments for you to go through to help you figure out, hey, where are you at in terms of your risk profile? And we'll talk about that here in a sec, your risk profile. We want to take a look at, um, you know, what allocation structure you want to have for your portfolio, meaning how much risk do you want to take on? For me, I would consider myself a moderate or a mid-risk investor, right? And so something I'll talk about here later on in the video is, is when I did this assessment of myself recently, I went, oh, shoot, I'm taking on more risk than I would have liked to. And so that's kind of leading me to making slight pivots and improvements with my portfolio. So a couple things here. Number one, we have to establish what is our risk profile. So inside of the DeFi framework section, we're going to go phase one right here, establish your investor profile. It's literally the first thing because this is going to direct everything else, right? This is going to help you establish what kind of projects you want to get into, what assets you want to look at. And again, as we develop the 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 portfolio allocation, which is in phase four here, I'll show you here in a minute, um, it'll help guide you to that. So again, this is a sort of an assessment that we put together and I'm going to show you and you can just kind of screen record if you'd like to and get it all. I, I mean, we don't hold anything back here. So this is just, um, it's basically an, an assessment that we've created to help you figure out, hey, how much risk am I willing to take on? And so by the end of this uh, assessment here, you can tally up how many points you have based on your answers from above, and it will kind of get you, hey, you're more of an aggressive investor, um, or hey, you're more of a moderate, you're kind of mi the mid road, like you, you don't want to be uh, math, you don't, you don't want to be a degen, but you also don't want to be massively conservative either, right? And then, and then the more points you have, potentially, you're more of a conservative investor, meaning you don't want to risk a lot, you want to keep it in low risk, more and kind of safe and secure type investments, right? And so this, this, you know, investor profile will help you establish that so that when you move on to phase two and phase three and phase four, it can all be in alignment. And that's something that our team, uh, and we always just talk about it on our team, as well as uh, inside of the UIG and the accelerator program, the fast track program is, are we creating a business system that is in alignment with our goals and how we want to operate? Now, quick story. Um, I exited a project and I, was, I wasn't planning on talking about this, but I will. Um, I exited a position that I was in, a DeFi position I was in last week. I was I was watching the Mets play. I'm a big Mets fan, so I have a, a standing desk here, and I like to get my I like to walk while I watch um, TV potentially, right? And I'm sitting, I'm watching the Mets Dodgers game, and they lost, by the way, which kind of stinks. But I was watching the game, but I was not enjoying the game because all I could think about was the price movement of one of the risky assets, risky pairs that I was in. And I walked over to my table over there. I grabbed my laptop and I brought it over here and I had my laptop sitting and I was going back and forth with my eyes watching the game and watching the chart of this stupid token, right? And the reason why I'm calling it a stupid token is because it was I was emotionally drawn to that project. I was emotionally concerned about my investment. My dollar value was going down because the price of that asset was going down. And it was emotionally pulling me away from things I was trying to enjoy in my life to you know, looking at this chart. And I said, you know what, this is not how I want to operate. Right. And when I took a look at my overall portfolio, I went, shoot, well, that makes a lot of sense. I'm taking on more risk than I'm comfortable with. Hence why I felt called to emotionally check charts uh, late, in, late into the evening when my laptop was put away for the, for the evening. So anyways, <clears throat> let's keep moving on. So establish your risk profile, your investor profile, how much risk are you willing to take on? The next one I want you to take a look at here is in phase two. This is the crypto asset risk assessment. Now I had an accelerator member ask me, um, you know, how do I look at my pools? Do I assess the risk based on the APR? Meaning what he was asking is, you know, if it's over a certain APR percentage, a projected return, does that 
classify it as a more high risk or if it's a lower APR, it's more low risk. And I'm like, yeah, it's, it's not, not a bad way to look at it quickly, but that's really not super accurate. Reason being is because I think we should we should look at the underlying assets. We should do a risk assessment of the underlying assets, not just the return percentage. Because you can have two very risky assets and have a very low return percentage and say, well, that's a low risk pool, but it's not. These are two really high risk assets. Or conversely, maybe in a wrapped ETH USDC pool, which I would consider two low key, you know, uh, low risk assets, but the APR might be 180, 220%, right? So just going based on the APR is not the best for risk assessment. What I'll give you here is sort of a framework that we've established that you can run different um, assessments through to establish, hey, what, you know, to assess what's the risk of the actual asset. And so uh, sentimental analysis, market cap, fundamental analysis, meaning like what problem is it solving? What is it actually trying to achieve? The sentimental analysis, how do people think about it? How are people talking about it right now? We look at the historical price performance, the smart contract, safety, security of the protocol itself. And then based on the answers that, you know, based on the numbers we get here, we can sort of filter it through a basic risk scale. And this is a very quick test that you can do that can help you filter down and go, okay, well, actually this asset is more of a high risk or this one is more of a low risk. And now you can start to look at your pools and in in your, your different DeFi investments and say, okay, maybe I'm taking on a little bit more risk or, hey, I'm, I'm really conservative in my portfolio. Maybe to hit my goals and my targets, I can actually increase risk just a little bit to help me hit those goals and targets uh, in a way that's in alignment. So anyways, this is a great section to come into to, uh, again, assess the risk of the underlying assets themselves. And then the last one I wanted to show you right here is in phase four. This is the portfolio allocation kind of framework or strategy. And this will help you um, sort of craft what is the overall, you know, the overall um, distribution or allocation of uh, capital inside of your DeFi portfolio. And so I'm not going to go through all of this, but it kind of gives you a quick breakdown on hey, what, what's a low risk profile uh, portfolio. What, what could that look like? What about a mid risk? You know, how does that change? You know, and then what's a high risk. And so for me, I gotta show you this real quick. I did this with myself and I actually took all this. I popped it in the chat GPT and I said, give me a little bit of a pie chart to, to visually show me where I'm at. Um, with the distribution of my own DeFi portfolio. Now I'm holding a lot of stables on the sidelines right now. Um, there's no rhyme or reason for that. I just, I want stables there um, for a couple of different reasons, which if you'd like me to talk about that, I certainly can, but I have a lot of, so I have 30% stables inside of my DeFi portfolio right now, just sitting on the sidelines. But if I were to take that out, guys, if I were to take that out, the distribution of my pools is over 50% of my DeFi portfolio was in high risk pools. And for me, I didn't realize this until I went through this assessment that I'm giving you today. And I realized, holy smokes, I'm taking on more risk than I'm comfortable. Hence why I'm getting up in the middle of the evening when I'm trying to exercise and, and watch my Mets lose. But I watch my Mets. Um, you know, I had to go over to get my computer because I'm in too high of risk stuff. And so for me, if I'm going to deploy these stables into more pools and more DeFi positions, I'm not going to go into high risk stuff. I'm going to move it more into mid risk or more of a low risk. So I want more conservative, might get a lower return percentage, but it would bring down my overall risk of my portfolio, right? Um, so hopefully this brings you some value. Again, back in the UIG, three places I really want you to go to do this. Number one is the investor profile. Establish your risk assessment. How much risk are you wanting to take on based on who you are and your goals? Number two is in phase two, crypto asset risk assessment that will help you individually identify and assess what risk is each asset. That way, when you assess your pools, you can easily say, okay, that's a high risk pool or that's a low risk pool, et cetera, et cetera. And then number three is in phase four right here, portfolio allocations that will help you really establish visually what, how much risk are you taking on and what does your overall system look like? So hopefully this brought you some value today. Again, this, well, I just love this stuff. I obsess over this stuff. So if you're in the UIG, obviously make a post in the community, uh, post in the portfolio review group, tag me, would love to see what you've been building and what you're working on. And if you're on the YouTube channel, just keep, just subscribe, like this video and just keep showing up day after day. Keep building and ask your good questions and we'll continue to create content for you. So that being said, we'll see you on the next one. Peace.